Now, meteorologist Steve Raleigh with the Bay Area's only online weather. Yeah, and if we've seen some numbers on nine, online today, boy, I tell you, it's only clear in 75 now, but numbers have been in the 80s and 90s, many locations. Uh, let's get started here and SkyTrack the forecast. As we do, I'll tell you, we're going to make a little change tonight. We're I, kind of excited around here as we now will SkyTrack the forecast. Not worth really going into the, the big picture on it, except to tell you that uh, it's going to change a little bit in the way you see weather and will bring home the microclimates much better. In fact, as we fly into the Bay Area, our 3D satellite <laughs> would show clouds if there were any out there today, but that wasn't indeed the case. I mean, it was crystal clear and really hot today in a lot of neighborhoods. Even right now, Mission Dolores is at 78, all the way to 89 degrees in Concord. It's 91 in San Jose, 81 in Fremont, 86 degrees in uh, Santa Rosa. So let's talk about what's going to go on, our big picture, if you will. Up into the north coast, there's been a lot of clouds and fog, but... Uh, it's not going to make it down here. The reason why is because of high pressure. This high is uh, sitting over the top of us now, and it's creating this offshore wind flow. So that's going to continue now for the next couple of days ahead. So it's going to be warm around here, clear at night. This is really going to be the best time in the forecast because numbers will be down overnight, mid-50s to near 60 degrees. Because once we get into tomorrow, the numbers are really going to shoot back up once again. Over the next few days, we're going to see numbers climb, probably dip toward the end of the week. Sunshine really from start to finish in San Francisco. You folks into the North Bay, yeah, I'm going to play some sunshine right over the top of you. Because really all over the place, it's going to be quite nice <laughs> with sun, not so much for the numbers. Let me swing over the East Bay and uh, give you the microclimates there because over the East Bay Hills, it's going to cook into the 90s, even here for October. You folks in Oakland, Alameda, the count on the fog, uh, not tomorrow. In fact, I'm I'm just going to lay one big one right here over the top of it. Uh, from Concord to Livermore to Oakland to Alameda, it's all going to be sunny and warm for tomorrow. Swing you into the South Bay now, and I wish I had some good news for you folks, but it's going to be much the same heat there. 91 in San Jose, uh, 89 in Sunnyvale as well. It looks like 90 degrees in Milpitas. You folks on the peninsula will probably see the best forecast. I tell you why, the numbers will be warm and mild, but just not that real intense heat. 82 in Daly City tomorrow and some sun. You folks don't bother counting on the sun. Uh, uh, clouds there. Sunshine uh, as far south as Palo Alto as well. Just before we give you the big look here on the week, let me show you what's happening down in the Gulf of Mexico. We will call it number 15, Hurricane Opal. This is the most storm since 1950. It's sitting about 550 miles from the coast. Winds are at 80 miles an hour. We think the projection on this system is going to drive it north. That's the way it's looking right now. But you know, with these systems, you never can be too sure. So we'll keep an eye on it here over the next couple of days and let you know. So a recap on the forecast then for tomorrow. It's sunshine, 70s and 80s over the next couple of days. Wednesday, much the same story. Once we work in toward the end of the week. The clouds will start building a bit. The numbers will come down. The sunshine will punch through. So we'll take it down a couple of degrees. But overall, it's looking like a hot couple of days ahead, guys. Boy, I'll say. That's some impressive magic wand you got there. Well, well you're wondering if I could borrow that. Uh, really? Pretty neat. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's called SkyTrack. Mm -hmm. And um, it's I've got to lay credit where credit is due. There is um, Alex Wilkie is a programmer who's developed this just for us here at Channel 4. So mm -hmm. really, no one else in the country has it. So we got to thank him. I right. we're the guinea pigs. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. When I mess up, you'll know. Yeah. All right. Thank Our you, 17th Steve. day of rain in January. We just put some sun in there. Oh. All right. When we come back, a closer look at the Simpson trial up to this point. The week that starts.